Hello and welcome to Guitar Gear Gyan with me, Sahil Jagthiani, where we talk about all things related to the Indian guitar gear scene. And in today's episode, we're looking at multi-mod pedals, budget-friendly multi-mod pedals. And before we get into them, make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. In this shootout today, we're looking at multi-mod pedals under 200 US dollars. Um, some of them are more expensive, obviously, in India. Um, but I thought this would be an interesting comparison. These are all of my four multi-mod pedals that I have, um, which are under 200 US dollars. Um, none of these pedals have been sent to me by the companies. Um, so let's uh, look into each of these pedals now. Uh, the first is the TC Electronic Dreamscape. This retails for around about, I think, uh, $168, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, and 18,800 rupees in India. Um, internationally, this one retails for 151 US dollars. This is the Mod 11 modulator from Electro Harmonics. Um, it, in India, it is 13,900 rupees. Uh, the Marshall Regenerator sells for 78 US dollars internationally in India at 7,900 rupees. Um, and internationally, surprisingly, the Mod Factory, uh, the, the newer version is the MK2, this is the MK1. Uh, the newer version MK2 sells for 88 US dollars and in India for only 5,900 rupees. So in India, this is the cheapest, then this one, then this one, and then this one. Internationally, of course, this is still the most expensive, second most expensive. Um, this is uh, the third, no, this is the, the cheapest of the lot, and this is the third most expensive. So yeah, so this is gonna be an interesting shootout. Um, this one specifically I'm interested to look at because it's on my board. Um, it's the pedal I've had for the longest, and uh, John Petrucci uh, helped design this pedal. Um, I love the choruses on it. I'm really interested to check out the Regenerator and the Mod 11. The Mod 11 I've heard for a couple of settings, and I think it's fantastic also. So this is going to be a very interesting uh, uh, shootout. This one uh, has a stereo in and a stereo out. This one has a mono in, mono out, but it has a tap tempo uh, input as well. Um, this one has an expression pedal. This one has uh, stereo out. This one has mono in, mono out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to check out each of these pedals. I'm going to run through all the settings. I'm going to have the dials mostly at 12 o'clock other than the volume, which will be set to unity gain. Um, two of these pedals have different modes. I'm going to toggle between all the modes. I'm going to be using my Harley Benton JA60 in uh, the neck position. Uh, it's a Jazzmaster style guitar with the P90 pickups. I'm going to be going into my Ditto Looper, play a short loop, and uh, then go into the pedals, into my Vox AC10, and the gain is going to be at about 9 o'clock. We're going to mic it up using a Shure SM57 Beta. Let's get to it. <laughs> Thank you. 
So those were the sounds of the pedals. Which one did you like best? Let me know in the comment section below. Would love to know which one you thought was the best or which setting you thought was the best. Uh, in my uh, opinion, uh, let's start with the ones I thought that were not the best. Um, the regenerator was pretty much meh. It was uh, okay, not, not bad, um, not great. I mean, for 7,900 rupees, it's not something to complain about. Um, this was slightly better in terms of the fact that it's got more options uh, in terms of the modulation effects. The quality of the effects was also pretty average um, in comparison with the other two. Um, so yeah, I mean, these two were my least favorite. Uh, this pedal has been on my board for a long time. I just love, uh, you know, the three modes. Um, the chorus for me is fantastic. I love the uh, you know the one that's been designed by John Petrucci. I think it's I think all the six effects are fantastic, but this is eighteen thousand eight hundred rupees. Uh, this is thirteen thousand nine hundred rupees. It's fantastic. It's simply the best multi mod pedal out there on the market under two hundred dollars. Um, under 14,000 rupees in India, of course. Um, it's just fantastic. I mean, I can't praise it enough. It's, it's so good, okay? Um, if you have, um, you know, a limited space and you're not, and you have a limited budget and you can't go in for a Mobius or a, a Boss Modulation pedal, one of those uh, bigger ones, you know, the MD500 or um, I think the 200 also, um, I think this is the best option. Before I bought this pedal, I actually demoed it in uh, the shop in Hong Kong uh, against a Strymon uh, rotary effect. And man, this was just as good. So that's why I bought this pedal. Um, I've not used it much, but that's gonna change a lot. This is gonna definitely go on my board as well. Um, it's a fantastic uh, piece of uh, kit. It's a fantastic um, pedal. But all in all, I hope this uh, you know shootout has been useful for all of you. I thought it'd be interesting to do a, a budget shootout of multi-mod pedals. And yeah, I mean, uh, for me, this was definitely uh, the clear winner. Hope you enjoyed that episode. Make sure you click the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. If you want to support me in making such videos, know that YouTube doesn't pay me much money. But we need some money for editing, shooting and for getting new gear and goodies. Now in order to get some goodies, we're going to need some patrons. And where can you become a patron? You can become a patron on my Patreon link which is in the card above. Go there and support this channel. If you want to support me even further, make sure you follow me on social media. Your likes, your clicks and your comments all help. Make sure you follow me, SSJ Productions and Guitar Gear Gyan on social media. Links are in the description below. And above all else, Stay safe and wash your hands.